Folks, my friend Ken Houston is running for mayor. Ken? What's up, Jenny? Excellent. Without any further ado, as I always ask every candidate, what was your motivation for running? You know, people say it was when Rebecca dropped the trash in East Oakland because mm -hmm. I'm the trash and graffiti guy. Um, and they blew it up a little bit too much because I supported her through her whole candidacy. Mm -hmm. It's, I'm a community advocate, and as a community advocate, I've reached my plateau. I only could do so much as a community advocate. I can't go any further. I mean, as a community advocate, I spearheaded the 50% local participation in the city of Oakland for jobs, and I spearheaded it and moved it over to the Oakland Unified School District. That's huge. I spearheaded the legal graffiti and legal dumping that everybody's jumping on board. But I only can go so far, Zinni, and I've reached my plateau. So that, being a son of Oakland, mm -hmm. I feel obligated to my city to do as much as I can before I, I, I give it up. Now, tell my viewers your background, since this is the first time we've talked in this capacity. I know it, but for those people in Bangladesh watching, which could happen. Okay. Hello. And you know what, that's a good question, and let me tell you why. I was in Sabrina Park, because that's where I'm from, Stonehurst area, yeah, five right. Stone City. In Oakland, right. And um, the godmother of Sabrina Park asked me a question. Her name is Phoebe Richardson. She said, Ken, and you know how older people would teach you something. She said, Ken, what experience do you have to be mayor? And I went like, wow. I'm the most viable candidate that's running right now to become mayor. And let me tell you why, Zinni. You ask me, what do I do? I'm a contractor. Contractors build, right? Mm -hmm. And as a contractor and a superintendent over a thousand dollar job or a multi-million dollar job, that is the mayor of the project. Right. So I have more experience than any one of the candidates because I am a mayor every time I run a project. Let me tell you what. Superintendent talks to the project managers, engineers, uh, all the subs. That's the departments of the city of Oakland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, as a contractor, we take something that is not theirs in we can, we can see it only in our head. We materialize it in something that's functional. Mm -hmm. From a home to a hospital to a school that's fully functional. And let me tell you this. After we finish, just like I'll do being the mayor of the city, when I build a home for you, Zinni, I turn the key over to you when it's complete. And it's fully, fully functional. That's what I'll do with my dream and my ideas of the city. I'm not a career politician. I'm like you. I'm just like you. I'm not a career politician and I don't want to be. So I'll do what I know the cures are, not the band-aids that everybody are putting on there, and I'll turn the key right back over to the citizens of Oakland who own it. Question I ask again, everyone. Uh, do we have too many police officers? Less? Do we need more? Your thoughts? Jenny, let me tell you something. It's so depressing um, when I hear that and everybody's talking about more police, more police. You put all these organizations in place to, 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 to be, to fix up. You add more police. All these are band-aids. The cure is jobs and the image. After that, safety is took care of. If, if you're starving and you're forced to the underground economy, I'm gonna bust you in your head too, Zinni. You give a person a, a hammer, a nail, um, a, 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 a skill set, the band-aid is removed. You start curing, you start changing lives. And let me tell you, Zinni, I know the cure. I'll change the 50% local participation as mayor mm -hmm. to 75% local participation, Zinni. And let me say this, Oakland in the Bay Area has the most construction work in Alameda County. Why are we the lowest, un why, why is our unemployment 9% and we got billions of dollars? Tell me that. Tell me, Zinni, why? It makes no sense. We have billions of dollars and people think of construction like this. They think it's a hammer and a nail. 
Construction is what you're doing. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Construction is construction lawyers. Mm -hmm. You have you have office support. Everything is around construction. So let me say this to answer your question about police officers. Absolutely not. That's a band-aid. More police, more police, more police. That's not helping my children. Yeah, I agree. That's not helping my community. Mm -hmm. Let me say this to you too, Zenny. I always say this. I touch the street to the sweep. I'm the only candidate that can do that. I have friends doing life in the penitentiary that didn't have to be there if they had the opportunity. I know how to give our children opportunity. And let me tell, tell Oakland this. You got one chance at Ken Houston. And I'll put my neck on the line for Oakland. I have not got any endorsements. I have not reached, um, 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 raised any money. And let me tell you why. I can raise two. I can raise $250,000 in there. I'm a contractor. I know all the big ballers. Okay? But I will owe them, Zenny. I can get endorsements. I will owe them. The only people I owe is the people that put me in office. So that's why I'm not doing it. And people said, oh, if you don't have money, you can't get ground. Watch me in the next couple of weeks. Watch me. Do you think, and I ask you, because we both have had a history, do you think that, and I'll explain this in another way, Oakland, since the time that I've worked for Elihu mm -hmm. and then Jerry Brown mm -hmm. and forward, and to some degree before then, was always obsessed to getting tech or biotech, but it never focused on what I call culturally grown economics. In other words, music or rappers, or seamstresses, or apparel. What is it about our city where we seem to not want to develop economies around the, the talents of our people? And how do we change that? That's a good that? question. Because I, that's a unique question. I just, but you compelled me to ask that question. Let me so, say yeah. this, Zinni, and I told you, just like I learned from Phoebe, sure. I'm learning something from you right now. I thought of tech. Tech need, we need tech in, in Oakland. We mm -hmm. do need tech. But we do have. But it brings that in a different art, kind of person. Right. You see what I'm getting at? Yeah, I do. Okay. We have that art. We have... Who came from? Sly came from here. I mean, you got... Um, um, Sheila E came sure. from here. You have artists. We have that. It's not tapped into. Right. And I agree with you. I never thought about it, but I guarantee I'm going to tap into it. Because... Because it's not like you already have. That's why I ask. It's not like you're kind of doing it without maybe someone saying, Hey, you know what? I have, but on the construction end. Mm -hmm. Not on the... And you know what? You're right, because you know um, a, a, a construction company will need, need a, 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 a art piece. Construction company will need a theme song. You're right. Well, or, or just when you talk about 75% local participation or people being involved who are Oaklanders, you know, and you had a long history at this, and I yes. wanted to get this done because, like, uh, well, this is our first talk. You know, in a while. And, well, on video. Yes. And so I want to make sure people get to know who you are, you know, and and uh, I think this is doing a good job of that. Yeah. Thank you. But, uh, in fact, tell them your background, by the way. So you grew up here, high school, college, what, you know. Zinni, I'm, I'm third generation Oaklander, born and raised below the second railroad tracks. I'm not supposed to be here. What do you mean by that? I grew up in the flats. I grew up in in, in a world that, um, that you usually don't make. Uh, went to Stonehurst. Father passed away when I was 12 years old. Sorry. Got caught up in it. Pulled out of school in junior high. Got myself, they got me together. Put me back in Castlemont. Uh, was born at Kaiser Hospital. And I'ma say this, Zinni. And, and, and my mother, my father passed away. My mother went and got a contractor's license. Cause she had to be my daddy and my mama. Mm -hmm. So she taught me how to use my hands and taught me the skill set that I needed to do to make it. Because I would have been a veterinarian if my father wouldn't have passed away. So, Ken Houston is this. Not only the construction, I was fed by the movement. Back in the day, they used to bring lunch bags. You know who I'm talking about to mm -hmm. school? Sure, yeah. The Panthers. Mm -hmm. right. It's in my soul, Zenny, for my people. I was fed the movement. So I'm going to make that movement happen in a different form and a different fashion for my city. So, yes, construction is where I am now. That's not what I would have been if my father didn't pass away, Zenny. But everything happens for a reason. Now, I have the chance 
to rebuild and build this city to something that it should be. And I feel obligated to this city as a son of Oprah, like you would be for your mother. Like Absolutely. You go visit your mom. You oh, know, you yeah. go all the way out there to visit. That's oh, how I feel. Most of the last four months. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So you obligated, you feel, you, you, you obligated to your family. Yep. Oh yeah. This city is my mother and my father. I know nothing but this city. I have friends back in San Diego. They always say, Kim, what you doing out there? Come with us. And something always draws me back to my city. This is my homeland. And I'm going to give it all I got to change it, to make it a better city, to improve it, and take it away from the people that are just trying to feed off of it. We need to give the proper distribution. Oakland is probably one of the only cities that everybody can eat, Zinni. Mm. Because of the amount of construction that's happening in the city, the development that's going to go on. Mm -hmm. It can happen in Oakland. I can't change other cities, but I guarantee you it can happen in Oakland. Now, shifting gears to sports, what's your view on the retention of the A's, the Raiders, and the Warriors? Let me tell you something. That special interest, we shouldn't even, we shouldn't even be here. Mm -hmm. I mean, Everybody had their, their self-interest way back in the day, but we're here now. Mm -hmm. This stuff, San Jose, all these other coliseums being built and we're behind? That is ridiculous, but we are where we are. And that's why they need a, a mayor like me. You know why? I know how to leverage relationships, Zinni. I have worldwide relationships. I know how to draw money. Just put me in the position and I'll do it. California Waste Solutions, prime example. I travel back and forth to Vietnam because it's Vietnam Waste Solution on my dime to visit David's facility to see if it was the right place for the city. Was it the right business? And it was, and I fought for now, that too. When you say are you talking about raising money for the Coliseum Project, or are you... That's what I'm talking about, sure. Coliseum Project. Okay. I mean, artists... So, see... If Coliseum you, City, sorry. Yeah, if you have relationships, that's everything. You can leverage your relationships to help the city. Who has the relationships to do that? I can do that. What is your feeling regarding, you know, I say this because, and it's still dealing with sports. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to Abel Guillen, and on camera he said the Warriors are gone. <laughs> Meaning, he's not even going to try to get him back if he's elected as council member. Let me say this. Yes, sir. It's not over till it's over. You ain't gone until you're gone. They here now, and they could be saved if you do it right. Uh, it's gonna be hard, Zinni. It's gonna be hard. But for somebody to say they're gone, check. That's what he said I, on camera. Okay, I'll give you a check, right? I didn't say a word. He said it on this. camera. I'll give you a check, right? Uh -huh. It ain't cash until it's cashed. It ain't cash until that money is in, that, that knot is in your pocket, right? Yep. They ain't gone until they're gone, Zinni. They still here, so we still have a chance. I don't wanna give up on the Raiders, the A's, or the Warriors. We have three major teams and we're gonna lose some of them? I'm not giving up, not me. I won't give up until it's over. What kind of mayor's office will you have? I have a very diverse mayor's office and I, I, I'm gonna lay it out there. A lot of these heads is gonna roll. They're gonna roll. Starting with who? You said it, I'm just asking. With a smile. <laughs> Zen, I appreciate that. But um, I'm not going to put it out there right now. But I'm going to say this. Heads are going to roll. We have to open up opportunity for young. The young pass the torch. Give them a chance. They out there. They went to school and they working at McDonald's or they halfway. Give these youngsters a chance. I know when to give it up. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. When I win, I'm only doing um, that four years. I'm not doing another term. I will not do Just one term? Zay, wow. I want to... I want to live, man. I want to live. But do you realize the vast majority of Oakland mayors have had two terms? Let me say this. Only yes. Dellums, Dellums decided not to do it. He could have won, though. Because you need to pass the torch. See, what I'm going to do is I'm I have to ask you this question. I, forgive me. Uh, but it is not a negative question. It is a positive. You, let's say you win. You come and you do really well, and then people lobby for you to run again. You're going to ignore the voice of the people? You know what? I won't ignore the voice of the people, but let there me you say go. this. I won't. <laughs> okay. But, and I should say however, 
I'm gonna spark some flames in some youngsters mm -hmm. and some people that never thought they could do it. And I just pass the torch to them because they'll be better than me. They'll learn from me. I've already sparked people. People was like, Ken, yeah, I'm gonna run for San Francisco mayor in four years. I didn't know I can do it. I sparked so many flames just by running right. because right. where I come from, the demographics have already created history, Zeddy. Nobody's ever ran for my demographic. So I I'm gonna do one term and if I'm Wow, that's a that's a serious question. It, it, when you say no one's ever won from your demographic, explain that because someone who is uninformed is going to say, "What do you mean? He's a brother. He's running again." But when you say that, what do you mean? Explain that just so we can get that out of the way. You know, my demographics is this: born and raised in the flatlands of East Oak. Mm -hmm. Born and raised where you are born to fail. Mm -hmm. See, I was born to fail. My people that I went to school with have been murdered on these streets. Their blood is still soaked in the concrete and the asphalt. I have friends that is doing life in the penitentiary, Zenny. Friends that I call their mom, mom, they call my mom, mom. My demographics, I ain't supposed to be running for mayor. But when I walk those streets and I tell those youngsters and they know where I come from, like I said, I touch the street to the suite. And I shake their hand. I say, man, you could do it. They're going to say, oh, Ken said I can do it. That little spark, that little spark, kind of like what Obama did. I never thought I'd see a black president in my life. Me and my mom cried together. That sparked me. So that little spark, my demographics, that's what I meant by my demographics. Ken, how can a person watching this join your candidacy, join your campaign? They just go on my website, Ken Houston, the number four mayor.org, and write me, and I'll pull them in. There's a lot of people that want to join right now. We're about to hit the ground in two weeks, and you're going to see a whole bunch of Ken Houston and his troops. Um, so if they want to join, just go online, Ken Houston, the number four mayor.org. And I'll respond to you and pull you in. Ken, it's been enlightening. Thanks a lot. Thank you, man. Yeah. All right, cool.